It's summer and time for PyCharm 2017.2 with improvements to Python editing, Pandas support, remote development, Docker Compose, database support, version control, web development, and more. Let's take a look at some of what's new in PyCharm 2017.2. PyCharm has always excelled in coding assistance and 2017.2 adds a few more tools. If you're writing a call to a function, but you realize you need an additional parameter, you can use the Change Signature Quick Fix. Using Python's format for string formatting, PyCharm 2017.2 will check to make sure that you're providing the right input. If you're using Python 3.5's comment-based variable type hints, PyCharm 2017.2 supports autocompletion. PyCharm has added data science support over the years with Jupyter Notebooks, NumPy Arrays, and Pandas data frames. In PyCharm 2017.2, we added support for Pandas series. When debugging, stop at a breakpoint, then click the link to visualize your Pandas series in our data view. Tired of typing your passphrases over and over again? PyCharm now supports reusing keys stored in SSH agent and pageant. To use this, visit your remote interpreter's configuration and change the auth type to use the agent. By popular demand, we've expanded our support of Docker Compose to Windows. Whether you're using native Docker for Windows or Docker Machine, you can now run your code from PyCharm Professional on Windows. To use this, go to your project settings for the project's interpreter then configure a remote project interpreter as Docker Compose. After providing the setup options, PyCharm will use this interpreter just like on other platforms. PyCharm Professional includes JetBrains DataGrip IDE and thus all of its advances. For example, PyCharm now supports Amazon Redshift and Microsoft Azure for databases in the cloud. If you have a database defined in your Azure dashboard and you've configured its firewall, take its connection string information for JDBC, and then open the database tool in PyCharm and configure an Azure connection. You can now browse and edit tables just like for other databases. PyCharm's visual front-end diversion control is a lifesaver, and 2017.2 includes some very productive enhancements. Have you ever committed something and noticed a commit message typo right after? PyCharm now makes fixing it easier. Just right-click on your commit and choose Reword. PyCharm then changes the commit message in the history. Made a bigger mistake? Revert will create a new commit that undoes everything the selected commit introduced. PyCharm 2017.2 includes other version control improvements, such as code style on commit messages. PyCharm professionals long excelled at full stack web development, and 2017.2 includes the latest improvements from WebStorm. For example, in Python, you can type a module and let PyCharm import it for you. This is now supported in JavaScript. Values in one module can be auto-completed and auto-imported in another, eliminating the extra step of typing the import yourself. The list of other improvements is long. React, Angular, Angular Material, Webpack, TypeScript, ESLint, Karma, Mocha, and more. PyCharm 2017.2 shows the team's commitment to new features, refinements of existing features, and of course fixing issues. We hope you like it, and thanks for watching this What's New video.